Okay, everyone, welcome to another episode of On Point EDC. Today, I have a really cool update for you from the brand RZE. They're actually a micro brand watchmaker focusing on outdoor adventure based models with a signature angular aesthetic. Now, they've recently expanded into the pocket knife market, which is great for me because I focus on wristwatches and EDC gear like folding knives. Now, in terms of the type of product, this would fall under that EDC folding utility knife space. And uh, when it comes to anything within there, of course, you're gonna be looking for a pocketable size as well as a versatile blade. This is their Hex Edge TI, and it's RZE's first micro blade built to be capable, tough, and ultimately pocketable for your everyday carry. It is a micro flipper titanium frame lock and it goes for $79 at full retail. It has a D2 blade and is actually made out of titanium, hence the titanium frame lock. So very cool, it's very, very small guys. Overall dimensions are just over four inches, just under four and a half. And uh, this thing is very, very cool. So with all that said, let's go ahead, zoom the camera out, get this piece in hand and take a closer look. Okay guys, now before we dive in, quick customary wristwatch check today I have on my RZE Resolute Pro titanium watch here guys, enamel dial, this thing is fantastic. Look at the angles, this thing is absolutely beautiful. It actually has a hardened coating, so you can notice that there aren't really any scratches on it. Another great feature is you're going to have a toolless micro adjusting clasp, which is fantastic, so I just press here, and as my wrist might swell while I'm out on the trail, uh, that can arrange and fit as needed, which I think is great. So I appreciate that. And you know, with that, here you're gonna see some of that design language carried over into this piece here. And if you're a fan of the channel, this probably isn't your first time seeing this because I actually featured it back when it was still a pre-production and uh, you know, two different iterations prior. Um, and finally, we're seeing now the actual product, which I think is awesome. And check out that action, beautifully done. One thing you're probably gonna notice is that the blade looks like it has a coating. It does, it's actually a titanium coating, which is nice because then you don't get any lock stick because now it's not hardened steel or tool steel uh, interfacing with the lock bar. It's actually more of a titanium on titanium. So that is really cool. You're also getting this nice traditional flipper aesthetic and layout, which it has great geometry on. And as you're holding it, it even, you can kind of lock your thumb in on the jimping and you can kind of get your uh, point, your index finger kind of in there. So depending on the different grasps you're gonna do, obviously with it being that kind of micro size, it's not like you're gonna be trying to use this in every different EDC chopping, cutting, or you know different type of grasp. But I will say, the cool thing is since it is you know from a watch maker um, and within that style, of course, um, this thing is cool. It's nice and compact, beautifully angular, and of course, from a branding perspective, it is very nice to have everything, uh, you know, kind of matching. So the titanium frame lock, titanium watch, I dig that a whole lot, and this thing came out really nice. So overall length, 4.38 inches, blade length about 1.7, closed length about 2.7, and then when it comes to the weight, it's about 2.16 ounces. So very cool, nice and svelte as you guys can see. Nice and sharp, it does have a flat grind, not the highest flat grind, um, but luckily for you guys, this isn't the thickest, most robust blade stock, but with how short it is, that actually does make this feel relatively thick and uh, feel very, very robust. Again, so it's not just about um, scale, it's also about proportions, and I think this one has a lot of nice proportions, and also, I mean, the proportions are nice, and the scale, because this is actually 
just the right size to fit in your little pocket watch pocket on your jeans, uh, which I think is pretty smart, right, from a watch company. Uh, and then you also do have, of course, that nice deep carry pocket clip, which does loop over nicely so you can get this uh, all the way in nice and deep, and uh, it's not gonna be showing or show E, which is great while it's put away and stowed. And then you also do have this really cool spot where you could either hook a lanyard to it or you can use it as a pry bar check that out so very smart so if you have to pop open something better to pry it there versus prying it with your blade so uh, i think that's just another nice little touch i like the orange collars there nicely anodized um, this is actually running on some nice ball bearing pivot washers so it's going to have that nice smooth fast open and close great geometry there with the functional jimping the jimping you might have missed it it's actually right here just at the top of the flipper itself i can get it to focus there you go, check that out. So very functional, it's not gonna rip through anything, right? It's not gonna wear out your fingertip, but the nice thing is it's gonna catch that nice little small spot, give you a nice amount of tactile purchase there. And there you go, um, very nice and still locked up great. Not a lot of huge gaps. I like that everything feels very tidy and feels very tightly constructed. Another nice little feature is if you take a look in here, Check this out. Look at that, they even have a little relief cut. You can see that right there in the center for the blade to have just a little bit more clearance as it comes through there. So look at that. Again, attention to detail. You see where the blade comes and rides right up. This is just an angle making it seem like it's buried in there, but there's actually just a little bit of extra clearance, uh, which is nice. And it also shows that they really do believe that they're gonna have good blade centering throughout the life of this piece, because if they didn't, it could potentially, uh, you know, hit this piece and with how small this is and how tight the tolerances are clearance is always going to be something to consider so very very cool guys I'm digging this one what do you guys think I'm not really huge into micro carry um, but I will say when it has something like this where it has a personality where it has these look nice bevels and facets to it, it you know it just uh, it's more than just a small little pocket knife it's a little piece of man candy that you can pull out every once in a while and just kind of fidget with and then if you need it to open a box or whatever you need to do that's absolutely what it is obviously this is really way too small to be considered to be used Used for something like a weapon I mean uh, unfortunately other regions of the world they think anything that is uh, a pocket knife must be a weapon but as uh, you know a long time US Marine I will tell you that something like this is highly non ideal sure as weapon of opportunity but I mean there's pens that I'd rather use as a weapon than this knife uh, so you know, just something to consider uh, for those uh, if you're in a region where people or you're just in an area, right, where people don't feel comfortable with pocket knives. Uh, you're at a kid's birthday party. You need to cut some strings, some balloons or whatever. Um, and whipping this little guy out is probably going to scare less people than some of the larger footprint knives that we might be more accustomed to carrying at it for a utility purpose. So I think that's really nice, guys. I think, uh, you know. Closing thoughts, in-hand ergonomics are really nice, smaller, but still that nice little uh, kind of two to three finger grip, depending on where you're gripping it from. So uh, then again, that nice jimping does help kind of lock your hand in there. Uh, nice, smooth, fast deployment. In pocket, it lays nice and flat, very unobtrusive. You don't have to put it in that little pocket watch pocket, but you can. But if you don't, it's definitely still going to be good to go in your regular pocket, especially if you don't have one of those little small ones. Um, so yeah, in terms of model variants, check the site links for future options and availability. At the time of recording this, this is just uh, you know pretty much the only variation they have of it. But uh, you guys know titanium, which can be anodized. You guys see those colors; they could be you know. What if they did something with some uh, Timascus? I think that'd be awesome. Maybe some different blade steels we could try out. Uh, obviously, at seventy nine dollars, uh, I think this is pretty well spec for the price point. But I think you know, hey, you throw on some uh, different 
types of damage steel or some super steels on there uh, maybe throw on a satin finish it could be something that could be a really cool option for something that's a little bit more collectible and uh, ultimately maybe a little bit pricier but I think there's room on the platform some platforms kind of are what they are and and being affordable kind of can limit them in terms of that mod ability or, or you know the ability to make a special edition I think there's a lot of meat left on the bone here where you could really do something really fun you could even do some speed holes through here um, because these are nice solid uh, scales so again a lot of cool ideas you could add a die stuff this could be timascus the collar could be timascus uh, you could add a die one scale two scales you could do a carbon fiber scale uh, so there's a lot of cool things that they could potentially come out with but they're only gonna be able to do that if people buy a bunch of these just in their kind of plain jane format which of course i think is very classic so if you have been looking for something small something very pocketable unobtrusive and non-threatening of course depending on the area uh where you live that those could all be you you know pretty high up there and the nice thing is although i wouldn't carry it as a primary blade uh definitely as a secondary or if i'm in an area where it's just hey you know i'd rather cut something open with these versus uh jamming in uh, my set of keys or something uh, into some tape so uh bottom line for me guys uh great balance of form and function in a fully modern and very affordable package uh, you know, happy to report that the full production units turned out even better than the very impressive pre-production prototypes I initially previewed. So, you know, it's always nice to be able to follow up. A big shout out to RZE and their team for sending this piece over uh, actually for me to keep. So very nice. Uh, and of course, that doesn't affect my opinion on it. Uh, you know, uh, just like when I was checking out the prototypes in pre-production, uh, you know, it's just, I'm just checking it out. I have way too many knives, way too many watches for me to be, uh, you know, kind of carried away with any particular model. And I'll say that this one's cool. Actually, let me just get a quick little dust off there. Look at that blade. This thing's cool, guys. Look at nicely signed, minimalist, not a lot of billboarding. Grind lines aren't too shabby, of course, you know, um, I've seen better, I've also seen worse. If you look at the tip, that is actually pretty darn good, look at that. A lot of the times you'll look up close at uh, the tip of a knife and you will find uh, some irregularities, some, uh, you know, lack of um, symmetry. This is pretty good pretty good especially under 100 bucks guys uh so when you think about the material d2 tool steel uh you're getting a titanium frame lock you're getting a little pry bar built in deep carry pocket clip frame lock again um pivot collars uh you know even getting a really fun and quick uh bearing set up there for the internals on the pivot so yeah this one's a cool one but let me know what you all think down in the comments below if you like the video please do it like and if you haven't already please subscribe for more content just like this thanks guys